most important, you have to begin telling your story in a new way. You have to tell it as you want it to be, not how it is. I'd write that down. You have to begin telling your story in a new way. You have to tell it as you want it to be. So I always say it's not the money, right? Bob wrote a whole book. It's not about the money. It's the whole title of the book. Somewhere on my shelf here. The whole book, the title is, it's not about the money. If you don't have money at the end of the month, it's not about the money. If you're having trouble paying for things, things are always lacking. You're never on time with the, with the giving opportunities. It's not because of your physical reality. It's the concept you have within that you are a person that keeps doing that. We have to change it. We have to manipulate it. Okay. Powerful. Art answered Andrew's question there. Money in the law of attraction. Okay. Let's go to the next paragraph. As you tell the story of your life and you do it nearly all day, every day with your words, your thoughts, and your actions, pause. I hope you grab that line. As you tell the story of your life and you do it nearly all day, every day with your words, your thoughts, and your actions. I'm just going to pause because I hope you grab this. One of the most important things we're going to go over tonight. What story are you telling? Every single time you say, I can't afford something, you are telling your story that you are a person that can't afford it. But Scott, I really don't have the money for it. I get it all the time. Happens all the time, but think about what's going on. Every single time we deliberately say we have to change how we're talking and the other person says, but you don't understand, they are literally defending their story so much so that it's getting more and more and more emotionally involved. I know, I know it's not easy. It's almost like you're in an awareness that says, here's what's going on. I can't seemingly see what this person sees. And they don't seemingly see what I see, so they must not understand, right? That's the conflict of all arguments or even any sort of conflict is I see something and this other person sees something. And since they're not like giving me any confirmation that they understand, I say, you don't understand. You're not, you don't, you don't get it. You don't know what my scenario is, right? So what happens all the time, especially in coaching atmosphere, okay? So you just want to, both of us, we just want to open up and say, all right, it is what it is physically, but in order to change that in the near and far future, we have to begin to do something different. This is the other way that you must start implementing in order to move things forward. Okay, so that's the difference there. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Let's say it one more time. As you tell the story of your life and you do it nearly all day, every day with your words, your thoughts, and your actions, you have to feel good while you tell it. In every moment about every subject, you can focus positively or negatively. For in every particle of the universe, in every moment in time and beyond, there is that which is wanted and a lack of what is wanted. Pulsing through for you to choose between. Pulsing there for you to choose between. I'm gonna make these words bigger for me next time. I didn't realize they're so small. And as, he, as these constant choices reveal themselves to you, you have the option of focusing upon what you want or the lack of it regarding every subject. Because every subject is really two subjects, what you want or the absence of what you want. You can tell by the way you feel which choice you are currently focused upon and you can change your choice constantly. 
We've talked about this one before. That's why two people can say affirmations. One person has the most extraordinary things happening and everything that they're affirming aloud is true physically. And another person is just constantly struggling. They're, they're in the same program. They're reading the same books. They're doing the same affirmations. And this person just isn't there. What's going on? It's the feeling that they're giving off. It's not the program. It's not the books. It's not this. It's not that. It's the internal feeling they are majority of the day consumed by. Very, very important they grab that, okay? It's not the thoughts create our reality. It's, what, it's the thoughts that we think most of the time that create our reality. So if we are consumed by a negative feeling, that's what's bringing into our physical life. It's the thing that you're absorbed with most of the time. Okay. Now I'll, I'll go for questions right after this because it's going to be really good. Every subject is really two subjects. The following are some examples to help you see how every subject is really two subjects. Abundance, poverty, which is the absence of abundance. Health, illness, the absence of health. Happiness, sadness. Clarity, absence of clarity. Energetic, absence of energy. Knowledge, doubt, interested, bored. I can do that. I can't do that. I want, I want to buy that. I can't afford that. I want to feel good. I don't feel good. I want more money. I don't have enough money. I want more money. I don't know how to get more money. I want more money. That person is getting more money than me or his or for, his or for fair share. I want to be slender. I'm fat. I want a new car. My car is old. I want a lover. I don't have a lover. Okay. It's the feelings that you're giving off. So we can say all day, every day, I'm earning, you know, tons of money. Money is easy and simple to earn, right? Those are paradigm shift challenge that we just ended up with. But if you don't feel that that's true, it will literally have the feeling that says money is hard to get. It is so damn challenging to earn money. And that dominating belief is why the reality starts to match what you believe. 